Oh, just your typical Tuesday, get sent down to an alien planet and harvest all of its resources to make lots of money. That's what we're here for. And we do that by harvesting all the trees in the area and all of the rocks so that we can make ourselves a muffle furnace, whatever this is. We can just place that right over there. Seems like a good spot. Just got to laser it a whole bunch so we can build it and now we can use it. Just need to get some ore so we can make some ingots. But we can also harvest more trees so that we can make quite a few of these supply lines as well. And then once we place these down, we can expand our search even wider. Just having a line of these straight oh, no. south, I think is a good idea, except for those things that are dangerous. Get out of here. Go away. Well, at least it gives some crystals out of it. And there's a lot of them here too. Gotta be careful of that. Ow! Because they hurt. And they also seem to be guarding some deposits as well. So hopefully I can take all of these guys out and then burn their home for its resources. It's not really burning, but we're getting a lot out of it. So good things all around. There is also these burning bits over here. Can I use this? No, I can't. I also have to make sure that I eat enough things. So we'll just get some cherries off of the branch there and from here as well. And, oh, ah, there's more of them. Okay, stay away, all of you. And there's some more of the ore that we need. Just gotta remove the danger. And now we can freely harvest all this stuff. And we're still connected to the supply line, so it's not wearing down my harvester at all. Just getting a lot of this herbarkium ore, which is a weird name for an ore, but I didn't come up with it. We just take all this over. Oh, and there's some that was right next to my base. Whoopsies. A little extra wouldn't hurt anybody anyway. We just get a little more organics to help with us. And now we can make a herbarkium ingot. Maybe a few of these. More is always good. I feel like I'm going to end up breaking down every single tree on this planet because organics is needed for pretty much everything. And since we're gathering a bunch of things, ooh, our ingots are done. Before I use them, though, I want to place down a silo right in the back here so that we can store all of our things because I have a lot of organics and minerals here. And a few of these citromite crystals, which... I don't think I need those yet. Right now, I want to start putting down these extractors or exporters because we can just slot those into the world like so. But they don't have power yet, so we'll need to make a few of these power routers. Thankfully, we have a bunch of things for that. And then we'll just slot it in like this and they both get power. Very good. And now once we have these, we can start filling out some orders so that we can get very good amount of money out of it. Just need to wander over here in the dead of night and harvest a lot of these ore things. There's a lot of them right here. So then I could probably put out some supply links here so that I can continue working this way. Right in the center of it all seems like a good spot. And there's some cherries here as well. Gas collector required. Wait, there's a gas thing there? Oh, I guess it is hiding under the plant. We're just gonna harvest as many of these things as we can. Oh, but now we're hungry. Uh oh. Very hungry. I need some cherries. I'm starting to lose some health here. There's some. Nom. If I wait in here, do I get food? No, but I do get health back. So that means I need to find some more cherries because getting all these resources is hard work. Ooh, speaking of resources, there's a lot up here as well. I think that's just straight north from our ship. Yes, it is. And then we can get some more cherries while we're here before the danger comes to us. But also my backpack's full, so I can't even gather their stuff. Ow. Maybe I'll just put these power routers in here for now because I'm not using them anymore right now. Although something else I want to do is start setting up some wind turbines so that we can get even more power to our base. And we have a lot of things for that. So we'll just get a few of them in a row here. And by a lot, I mean two. Ooh, and the power supply is starting to connect the wind turbines as well. So even more good things are happening. Although it's not really powering our base any. I'm gonna need those power routers back. And then we just connect those like so. We'll need one more so that we can complete the circuit. Now all of our base is powered. Very good. And the wind turbines have like none to spare. That's okay, that's their entire job. Speaking of job, I'm supposed to send out some things. So that gets sent away. And then we collect these marshmallow plant things, except our backpack's full. Like I said, we collect the things and then some more organics as well. And our supply pot is back and we get some money out of it. It's not a whole lot, but that's okay because we can fill this order and get a bit more money. Although I do want to make more exporters so we can increase our production gain of wealth. So let's see, we'll put this in here for now and then we'll gather this so we can plant even more of these things down. Just get a nice chain of exporters because we have a lot of orders to fill. As long as everything stays powered, we should be good. There's also this thing over here. I'm not really sure what it is, but we need parts for it. And as far as I know, I can't make those. So maybe we can buy them from this vendor. We'll just need to collect a lot more things in order to afford it. Also, there is just so many things burning down here. What crashed? I don't think that was me, was it? Well, it could have been me. I don't know. I'm just here doing honest work. Oh, 
We can collect it just like that. We get plastic bricks and herbarchium ingots. I wasn't sure if I could get close to it because, you know, it's on fire. And all those herbarchium ingots means I can make even more of these things. We'll just have a fun little grid of money-making machines. And then we simply connect them all with the power thing like that. Oh, great. Our base doesn't have enough power anymore. Thankfully, that's the benefit of more wind turbines. And just one more gives our base all the power it needs. Very good. So we'll send off this order and then this order. Collect a few more marshmallow plants. I wish marshmallows grew on plants. And now we can fill out this order for 300. So we should get a large income when they all come back. So now we've already made a thousand monies, which I'm sure will be very useful once we have the vending machine. We'll just need the organics to supply it. And this big tree should give us a lot of organics. Eh, not too much. But it's enough that we can fill out this order and then we can still afford a vending machine. We'll just place that right up here. And now with the vending machine, we can unlock new buildings. Ooh, like a logistics spot and a collector. Automatically collects and deposits items into nearby silos. And this will automatically add resources to exporters. Definitely getting both of these. And once that order comes back, we should be able to afford the other one. Yes, indeed. Logistics spot is mine. But now we need these sheets in order to make them. And we should be able to get that from the sheet press. We'll just need to fill out a few more of these orders. Also, a lot of them need this Uskium ore, which I have not seen yet, and I'm not too sure where it could be. Maybe just out this way more? Past all these dangers? Oh, there's a lot of dangers out here. Oh, but there it is. It's just in these massively tall spires here. And it seems like we can get quite a bit from these too. I like this. I think one more of that should be enough to fill out all those extra orders that we've been collecting. And look at all these orders we can already fill. This one gives a lot and it's just one thing by itself. That's very good. I'll just clear out a few more of these before I start expanding some more. Okay, now we can fill out another order of them. And now we can get that sheep press, which needs her habarchium and... Karakavite. Who names these things? And now we have both of those working. But now we have both of those being made. We'll just need to make room. I still have this one supply line that I haven't even connected to anything. Maybe I should just start expanding it this way. That's what we're good enough for now. And now that we have both of those ingots, we can put down the sheet press. I'll probably move this thing later or build another one. But I'm thinking we can set up a production area right down in here. So, you know what? Might as well just move this now. Scrap the structure like that. Thankfully, it gives us everything. And then we just set it up like so. And then next to the furnace wheel, set up the sheet press. Now we just need to have all the things to connect it to, which are these power routers. I could probably make a few of them while I'm here because I'm going to be setting up a lot more of this. I can already tell. So now we can just set up a line like this and it's all connected. Oh, but it needs power. Why does my base have to be so needy with power? I'm just deforesting this entire area, which I mean, I was going to do that anyway, but the fact that I need to is kind of annoying. I don't want to do something because I need to do it. Slapping a few more of these down all at once should be good to keep our base running for a bit longer before I need to do this again. All right, that should be plenty of power in reserve. A lot of those are being trained now. Wow. And I tell you what, the first thing I'm having that collector drone do is tear down all these trees. I need so many organics. Speaking of which, the collector bots need a Karakovite sheet. So we'll just make one of those ingots, maybe two of them. One of these, plug it into the machine and it presses down into a Karakovite sheet. Excellent. Now we can make a collector bot. Does it really need power anywhere? I guess it does. Like a little home base. We'll just have that home base nestled right next to everything else. Hey, look at you. Uh, okay, it looks like, oh, I see it collects in an area. Well, then you're no good here. Come with me, friend. And these supply links do transfer power as well. So if I just create some more supply lines really quick. Oh, but my backpack's full. That's okay. I want to set this guy down right. Ooh, this is a big old forest. I like it. I'll just set him down right in here. Should be good. And now we just need to bring the power up his direction. Or I guess these things don't transfer power. You get this tree out of the way so I can think. Okay, it doesn't seem like they do. So that just means I gotta come all the way back down here and get the power line connected all the way up that way. I'm just trying to harvest a planet of all of its natural resources. Why has it gotta be so expensive? Fine, then I'll just make a lot of them to make up the difference. No reason I can't have him follow the same path as the supply line. Just a few more of these to go. And he's powered. Go ahead and collect. Unless you need a silo up here. Maybe this little guy needs a silo. There's something I'm not understanding here. The little bot's supposed to be collecting, and he's not collecting. Well, if that doesn't work, then maybe I can do something with this optical table after I make that. So with all the pieces, we make the optical table, and now we can make the wires that that thing needs and some plasma shells. Wait, for your Ophelia unit, 
What? Hold on. One thing at a time. So I'm thinking maybe this collector bot is not a harvester. So let's just pick up that whole operation, move it back to base. And then we set this bot building around here and then connect it right there. Okay, so we have the collector bot figured out. Now we need to figure out the logistics bot. Thankfully, I have everything for that. So if we just set that in like this, laser it on up. Okay. Menu options under construction, not a bug. So there needs to be something that it can do, but it also can't really make anything because there's no organics. Okay. So if the collector bot puts things into the silos, then probably the collector bot can take things out of the silos. And then if we turn this on, Oh, look at it go. Yes, it's bringing everything to the foundry thingy and is doing the thingy. I love it when things do things. So now we should have a steady supply of herbacium ingots for that. As long as, you know, we can constantly supply it. And then we take one of those ingots and make a sheet out of it. I made a few. Now we have enough for whatever this is, plus extra. And then it also needs a wire thingy, which you make here with a plastic sheet and an ingot. So let's turn you off for now. I need to make an ingot. So we can make one of those wires in here, which needs a plastic sheet and a Karakvite ingot. Thankfully, I have those plastic bricks from earlier, so I can make this. And then you just need to go and find enough of that Karakavite. I cannot get over that name. It's so weird. That's the other thing. Here's the Karakavite stuff that I desire. And of course my inventory's full. Why wouldn't it be? So let's just do the cool robot thing of turning this on to do that. And then drop everything into the silo so it can work. Yes, that's so fun. Took some troubleshooting, but we got to figure it out. Now we just need to punch a sheet out of it, and now we can make the wires. Oh, I guess it needed the ingot, not the sheet. Whoops. That's fine, though. We have all of that, and now we can dump it onto this and laser it. Things like this should be working. Oh, hello. <laughs> Look at you, your little friend. Oh, I can pet you? Oh, you're amazing. And I can ride it to... Wow, look at this. Uh, whoa. Okay, it's got things. Very cool things. And this is fast, too. I have my own little transport vehicle. Oh, and it has extra inventory slots. Yes, this is amazing. The little fiends don't stand a chance. Yeah. And did it just automatically collect? It just did something to collect this. Look at this, I have a little friend. And my little friend is following me too. I love that. So now what we need to do is just collect all these things to fill out the orders. And thankfully our bot having extra inventory space will help us with that. He's just following me like a friendly little puppy. Oh, that's the best thing ever. And ow, those things still hurt. So this is Ophelia and these are the plasma shells that it can use. Needs plastic bricks and uskium ores. For now, I'll just use Ophelia like a super chair and then come over here, collect the minerals that I need. Sadly, Ophelia doesn't charge my mining laser. Okay, so now we have enough things for a few orders. Ideally, I'll have enough things to fill all of those orders, so we'll need a lot more uskium ore for that. Oh, there's so many of these things. And uh, what the? How'd that break? Did that just blow up on there? Oh, it did. Interesting. So the little guy's blowing up gives me the minerals. I like this idea. If I just maneuver my way through the forest. Whoa. Hello there. It's a bird. Hey, bird. What you doing? Can I harvest you? Can I harvest your tree? I guess I can. What does the bird do after that? Oh, the bird just disappears. <laughs> what kind of a bird is that? Uh-oh. Uh, Ophelia, I think you got me stuck. Thankfully, there's an F2 button. I may have wandered out a little bit too far. I'm about to run out of oxygen. Oh, thankfully, Ophelia gets me back in time. All right, so the only thing I want to see for now, really, is if I put everything for an order in one of the silos, the little bot takes care of it. Look at that. He just shipped off two of them at once. And wow, some of these orders get really expensive, but they also pay out a lot better. But right now, I think that's it for the demo. We can just make a lot of money for the sake of making money, and we have a new friend with us. So if you guys want to check out the Prospector demo on Steam, you can definitely go ahead and do that. And hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and sub to Intern. I'd also like to thank the channel members, including Bread, Mr. Cripple One, Ancient Elixir One, Corby Farm, Bladed Archer, Dakota C, Donamoto, Deviant X, Muffin Stuffer, Lucas S, Ali B, Splatter Sacks, The Real Nickname, Edward, Hateful Herald, Todd M, and Peggy Sue.